about to do another video. This one, you guys, is for Original Queen. And I'll leave all the information below. But Michaela is going to be doing a curly lace front today. So you guys remember from the last video. I hope you guys have seen me. If not, well, you know what I look like anyway. So we're not really too concerned saying about <laughs> me. But Michaela's hairline, she has a smaller head. So these are medium-sized wigs. She could probably definitely use a small. But it has an elastic band in it, which she said fits snug, which is good. But when I pre-plucked it, I plucked it back further just to get rid of some of the hairline. So that way it'll fit her a lot better than a regular size wig. The lace, I'm not really like a huge fan of this lace color, so I'm going to be using my Wig Extensions Lace Tinting Spray on it right now. This is the color Golden, and then I'm just gonna blow dry it into the wig lace so that way, you know, it'll stay. But, you know, be prepared um, for the video, you guys, and we'll be right back. When you receive your hair from Original Queen, it will come in their standard box. Original Queen is an Amazon vendor and they also do have a website. So please make sure to check out both their Amazon website along with that, their original website. You'll also receive one of their tags in your package and a wig cap. Along with that, you'll also receive their 3D Mink Hair eyelashes. Original Queen is an Amazon seller and they have loads of varieties of units available on Amazon.com. They also have a website where you can also purchase this unit. This unit is available on Amazon for $137. Along with that, there's also a 5% discount. You will receive an elastic band that is already attached. This is a 13 by 6, 20 inch kinky curly lace frontal. I will need to bleach the knots, which I have done so. The curls are really popping. To me, this more resembles a kind of like deep wave or deep curly. But it's very textured and the ends on the unit also look very healthy. Make sure you check them out on Amazon. As I, you guys know, you have Amazon Prime. Like I say, you get your stuff on time. And I'll also provide the link down below for their website. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna jump right into this. Me and Michaela are just putting the unit on. I think we decided to go without the wig cap so it wouldn't slip back. And because she has a smaller head, I went ahead and kind of squeezed more hair out in the front hairline than would need be, just so that way it wouldn't fall too low onto her forehead. So I did bleach the knots in the unit and I also purple shampooed it and I allowed the purple shampoo to sit on the unit for about two hours, just to make sure that there wasn't any brassy tones. And then I went ahead and sprayed some of my tinting spray, which you can see right here in the front. And it gave the lace a little bit of color. Now what I'm doing on the unit, I'm just going to make sure that the wig fits properly. And because Michaela's head is smaller, she would probably need like a small cap. So I did a lot of adjustments to this medium cap to make sure that it fit her properly. We're going to go ahead and cut any excess lace that's overlapping her ear. For her unit, I definitely have to be really careful because being that her head is smaller, where I needed to cut at kind of ended up being where the actual adjustable straps and elastic was. So I had to kind of like customize it a little bit extra. The unit is 20 inches and it's a 13 by 6 pre-plucked hairline. Price of this unit on Amazon is actually $137, but there is a 5% off coupon. And I'm not sure if you have to be a Prime member or if you can just receive that 5% off in general. But you can also check their website. They also have this hair texture in Indian Remy, which is $101 for a 130% density. Either way, I think a lot of their wigs are really affordable. 
It's super cheap, you know. You just have to customize them as you guys see I'm doing right here. So I'm just gonna take that rat tail comb and I'm just gonna part it above her ear and I'm just going to cut off all the excess lace that I need to. And if I forgot to mention, the elastic band was already sewn into the unit, which made it a lot easier. And it also gave it the tightness that Michaela needed. I'm just taking my scissors and I'm just going to cut into the unit. Kind of like cutting dips and curves into it because Michaela has a low hairline. She has a lot of baby hairs of her own. So this one is going to be a lot easier because, you know, a curly hair girl, you can just go ahead and finesse that. You don't really have to have like the perfect baby hairs because it's curly. It's full. You don't really see much. So that's the reason why I'm kind of like cutting into like the dips and curves in this unit. And the lace was stated that it's transparent lace on Amazon, along with that also on their website. To me, you know, it is a very light lace, which is good, but I just wanted to give it some color. You gotta be careful when you're using a purple shampoo because to me, it seems like it might tint the lace sometimes. And I've had that happen where some of the lace looked a little bit purplish to me. So when you are, you know, leaving it on the, you know, your knots to remove the brassy tones, just make sure it doesn't get on to like the front of the lace. And I'm just cutting out all tiny little pieces of lace because like I said, she has a low hairline. So any little bit of lace that I could remove, it will make a difference for her. I went ahead and I did pre-pluck extra, a lot of the hairline out because you know, her hair, her, her hairline is smaller. So I wanted to pluck a lot of the hairline out just so that way it'll fit her, you know, to fit her better and the hairline wouldn't be too low. Now I'm just gonna take my rat tail comb and I'm gonna you know, give her some baby hairs and some sideburn hairs. And now also, I wanted to mention to you guys, I did put the tinting spray on the unit, but like I was saying in like a couple of um, earlier videos, I really think when you use that tinting overlay spray, it doesn't really matter what company it is. I think that you really need to let that tinting spray like sit on the lace for like a few days before you apply it to your head or use any type of wet product. Because to me, it looks like the lace, the tinting spray starts to run. And you'll see it in this portion of the video where I'll get a towel and I'll wipe it. So for right now, I'm just gonna spray some of my Got To Be Glam Force hairspray underneath the unit onto the lace. So that way, you know, it'll give her a better hold. And do you see like in the front, now I'm taking it and I'm dapping it because that's the tinting spray, and I notice every time when I want to apply my wig, it always seems to run. So I'm thinking like you would need to allow that tinting spray to just sit in the hair for like sit on the on the lace for a few days, because what I do is I'll just blow dry, and I don't think that really allows it to settle in. So I would definitely say just allow it to settle in the lace before you decide to apply the wig. Get your blow dryer out and your rat tail comb and just press into the lace. And if you don't have a blow dryer, we'll just spray in small sections at a time so that way it can dry. You can also put a scarf on your head, but I'm just gonna use the blow dryer on cool to medium heat and just use my rat tail comb and just press the lace into her hair. So Original Queen, like I was saying, they got some really affordable lace wigs. Um, they have a lot on their website. They also have bundle hair that I noticed on Amazon and on their website too. You know what I'll say, you guys, about Amazon, Amazon Prime, get your shit on time. Like seriously, you guys know I love Amazon. You can get stuff, you can return stuff if you got Amazon Prime. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, check Amazon out for some lace front wigs. You can check out Original Queen. I did see like some really nice prices that was like affordable.
So now I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm just going to cut in some sideburn hairs and some baby hairs. I think this wig looks so cute on my Kayla. She's just a good sport, you know. We just be having a good chit chat while we installing the wig and stuff. Gonna repeat those same steps on the opposite side. Get you some small scissors, or you can also use like a razor and you can trim it that way. I do like to use the razors to trim it, but for right here, I'm just going to be adding some of my Got to Be Glam Force gel. And I like to keep it in a jar so that way it oxidizes. The oxidation of it allows it to dry much faster. It also thickens it up so it makes the application process a lot easier and quicker versus just using it straight out of the tube. So I keep mine in a jar so that way it just kind of like gets really tacky when you first apply it and it's much thicker. I'm gonna take my got to be volumaniac volumaniac styling mousse and I'm just going to apply that to the front of the hairline and this is just going to help me sculpt in her baby hairs I don't really want a lot you know you don't need a lot with curly hair and they don't have to be perfect especially with curly hair so I'm just going to take that styling mousse I'm just going to just brush it into the front of the hairline and also that'll help smooth down the hair I'm just gonna take some of my water that has conditioner in it. I have the Carol's Daughter leave-in milk conditioner and I'm just going to just spritz some of that onto the hair so that way I can just define some of the curls being that, you know, we were applying it and messing with it, it kind of got a little, you know, stirred. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just use that conditioned water and spray it on my Kayla's hair. And I'm just gonna mess with these baby hairs because I'm just really funny when it comes to baby hair. I'm just gonna take one of the ties, I'm just going to wrap that around her hair, just so that way her hair can set. And I'm gonna take my blow dryer and deepen that part so that you can really see the part. I like to take the nozzle of the blow dryer and just kinda of like press it into the hair so that way it can just allow the hair to lay flat.
And for the finishing touching, I'm just gonna add some of uh, some makeup pressed powder onto the hairline so that way it could just blend a lot better with my Kayla's complexion. I didn't really like the tinting spray on it. it, gave it like this red color, so I wasn't too happy about that. I had to kind of like mess around with it, but I really would advise you guys, if you do decide to use it, just let it set on the wig for a few days. And she looks so cute with this hair. This is a really pretty kinky texture, you know what I mean? 20 inches is very full. It kind of looked like it was layered. It's a transparent 13 by six lace frontal. I'm glad that it already had the elastic band sewn in it. And it looks really cute on her. Affordable, honey, Amazon Prime. Get your stuff on time. So make sure you check out Original Queen. I'll leave all of the information down below for them, for Amazon and their website. Don't want Kayla look cute. She looks so cute. And I think this is one of her favorite units so far. All right, you guys, so we're done. My kid looks so cute, <laughs> don't she? I like curly hair on her. I this do is too. soft, so like you it. tell me your thoughts. Mine? Yours, you're oh, the one that's got to well, wear it. Like this one, like the last one, it's light and it's fluffy, not in a bad way. It's not tangled either, so it's real tight curls, but they don't tangle, and it's real easy to move around and stuff, so. I like it. I do too. I like this. And one. it looks very natural. It's natural curls. They don't look all like the same. They all, you know, mixed in with each other. So I like that. I don't like how some curly wigs, they all go in the same pattern. Oh, and okay. they just all look like the package curls. Yeah. But, I like yeah, it with curly I like hair. It. it looks cute. I like it. They had an elastic band already sewn in it. So, girl. Snug too. It fits real good. So you guys, if you want your wig installed, you can hook, you can hit me up, and um, you know, if you live in Arizona, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm not doing nobody's wig. <laughs> okay. But it was fun to, just to joke with you guys. But I love you. Happy holidays. Thank happy you. holidays. Merry Christmas. See? Happy New Year. <laughs> she like happy holidays. Merry Christmas. <laughs> All that oh, good I stuff, right? <laughs> but we'll see you guys soon. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, share the video. Michaela says share the deck on video. Okay? Yes. Yeah. Share, share, share. I'll be posting it on my Instagram as well at my Kayla Monroe. Okay. We'll put we'll, we'll make sure to pop that in there so y'all can follow her on Instagram and make sure you don't write no mean stuff on her Instagram page because if y'all do so she gonna see it. I'm, I'm gonna see it and then I'm gonna have to come for y'all. So yeah. This is my baby right here. So yes. We love you Thank guys you. and stay Bye. Bye.